We'll guide you through how to download and install drivers on a new PC. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Perhaps you've just gone and bought a new PC or you've gone and built one and now you want to go and get the drivers so it's going to go and function properly. So to go and get started, we need to go and know the motherboard you've got. As there are drivers, we need to go and get for that. So you can go and find the box or find it in the system information, which you would have got. And what we can then do is go and open a browser. If you've just got Windows, you can go and use Microsoft Edge. And what you need to do is go and go to the manufacturer's website. In my case, I've got MSI, so I'll go and type in MSI drivers like so. And then what we can do is come to the MSI site. Of course, you may have a different manufacturer. And then what we can do is go and find the product. We can select motherboards. I've got it selected and I'll go and press search. And then what I can do is go and select driver and downloads. And I can come down and select driver. We can go and choose our operating system and I can see the different drivers here. So to start with, I can get the chipset driver. I'll press download to the right. We can then get the onboard VGA. I don't use that, but I will go and get the audio drivers. So I'll go to the right and press download. We can go and get the different LAN drivers here. For the example, I'll just get the Wi-Fi drivers, but do go and get them all. And you can go, then go and get the onboard PIDE and SATA drivers as well. They're the drivers for the motherboard. And the other drivers we can get is for our GPU or graphics card. So first of all, you probably have an NVIDIA or AMD one. So in this case, I'm going to go and type in NVIDIA drivers like so. I'll then click on download the official NVIDIA drivers. This is the official site. And then at the top here, we can go and get the NVIDIA app to go and get automatic driver updates. I can just choose between being a gamer and creator or professionals and workstation users. I'm a gamer or creator, so I'll press download now and get the app. These are zip files, so I'll go and click on one and press extract all. I'll then go into the up-to-date one, and here we have the software. I can double click it, I'll get a Windows Kudi pop-up, and it'll then go and install. And it's now found the different drivers I can go and get, and I can go and press install like so. We can now go and repeat that, so for each of these, I can go and click on it, press extract all, go into the folder, and then go and run the setup and install the drivers. After you've installed all of them, then what we can do is go and do the graphics drivers, so here's the NVIDIA app. What you need to do is double click on it and you can go and install it. Or if you've got an AMD graphics card, install those drivers. In the NVIDIA app, we can come to the left and click on drivers and we can then go and download and install them. You can see we've got the option over to the right. I'll go and do an express installation and we press continue and they'll go and start installing. It's that simple. There's likely to be other drivers out there for other parts of your hardware as well, but these are the main ones that are definitely worth having, but definitely go and check as well.